In a three to one vote, the city of Union rejected a proposed LGBTQ fairness ordinance that happened last night. And that makes it the first northern Kentucky city to do so. WCPO 9 News reporter Marielle Carbone got reaction from those for and against that ordinance. These fairness ordinances, they are fairly common. Cities like Covington, Newport and Dayton all have one of their own on the books. But here in Union, only one commissioner, Brian Garner, the one who actually proposed it, voted yes. That's an outcome that supporters tell me is disappointing. I grew up in Kentucky as a gay black male. I do recognize how you coming up in communities that are small, like Union, still fear and have some of the same issues that I may have had 20 years ago. Which is why Union resident Darnell Johnson supported a proposed fairness ordinance. It would have prevented discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity, and provided a way to file complaints if discrimination occurred. Putting this as a law, we will be signaling that no, it's not okay to discriminate. That ordinance failed. That gives Union the dubious distinction of becoming the first Northern Kentucky community to vote against LGBTQ rights. Chris Hartman is with the Fairness, the Fairness Campaign. Fairness he says unlike federal law, which prohibits LGBTQ discrimination when it comes to employment and housing, the local ordinance touches on public accommodation. In a public place, a business that's open in Union could still discriminate against LGBTQ people. That is the gap. Currently, 23 Kentucky cities have a fairness ordinance on the books, including nine in northern Kentucky. And unfortunately, Union will be left behind. The city did pass a fairness resolution in 2020, encouraging city staff to eliminate social and racial disparities. However, a resolution is not legally binding. Based on that resolution, Mayor Larry Solomon, who voted against the ordinance, says the city has given its word that it believes in treating all people fairly and equally through the 2020 fairness resolution. And one's word is their bond. I believe that is currently good enough. And I did reach out to Commissioner Garner for an interview, but he declined to speak today. Reporting in Union, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.